Hi guys, so I saw Halloween and it was, it was fun. It was dumb, but it was still fun. This is actually gonna be a pretty quick review because there's not much to say about this movie. This is definitely a movie that gets better as it goes on. I can't really call it a good movie, but I still liked watching it. I still had fun, and that's kind of the point. I'm not really expecting a masterpiece out of this one. This movie really reminded me of a summer blockbuster, except it's a horror movie in October. Some parts were really neat and some were kind of crappy. But as a whole, this movie is actually pretty enjoyable to watch. Michael Myers is really fucking vicious in this movie. He's not joking around, he's actually pretty scary. And when I go into a big budget slasher movie, I kinda just wanna see some cool shots and see some cool horror makeup effects and kills. And this movie has all of that. At the beginning, the editing is kind of... it's not great, but not in a way that most normal people will notice. If you're not the kind of person who looks for stuff like that, then you really don't have to worry. During an early dinner scene, there were like a million cuts, and it was giving me a headache. And it was just a normal dialogue scene. But then after the setup, once Michael Myers is doing his thing, this movie feels like it's more comfortable with itself. There's a cool long take with him going around just murking dudes, and I was totally into it. The idea of a guy with no personality who just kills people indiscriminately isn't really a strong premise on its own. So it's all in the little details. You have to film it well, you gotta write it well, and it has to feel good to watch. And this movie does try most of the time, but it feels like some pieces were moved around in order to make the movie more satisfying for the audience. The writing is also back and forth. The dialogue is either not so great or it's pretty good. There's really no middle ground. You have some weird lines that are performed equally as bad. There's a certain scene with Judy Greer where her line delivery is so horrible that I thought the scene was supposed to be comical. And then you have little moments where the characters just sit and talk about nothing in particular, but the writing is really sharp and clever. However, the worst writing is definitely in the plot. The movie is very narratively convenient. Things just happen to move the story forward. Characters just do things that nobody with half of a brain would do. Most people just turn their brains off when they watch horror movies, and although I hate recommending that you do that with any film, it, it kinda helps with this one. Don't think about it too much. Now there are a lot of cute callback shots to the first movie that I really liked, and I'm not even the biggest fan of the Halloween franchise, but I really did like these moments. Also, Jamie Lee Curtis is really, really good. Her performance is a big A+. Honestly, it's kind of insane how much depth her performance has. Also, I'd be a fool not to mention that the best thing in this movie is the soundtrack. John Carpenter and his pals came back to do the soundtrack and it is amazing. If you don't have any other reason to watch this movie, just watch it to hear the good ass music. Now I'm kind of upset because this movie could be a really good ending for the franchise, but you know they're gonna try to milk some sequels out of it. And I don't really want sequels because they're not gonna be as good as this. They're just gonna be worse. Oh well, anyway, I like this movie. It has some stupid shit in it, but for the most part, it was pretty enjoyable. I think it's a pretty safe bet if you want to have a good time in the theater this Halloween season. I'm gonna give this one a 7 out of 10, I think. Yeah, 7 seems good.